Dentists who engage in elective replacement of amalgam fillings have often been criticized by their peers for unnecessarily exposing their patients to excess mercury during the process of grinding the old fillings out. Yet the mercury-free dentists are the ones who are the most critically aware of the mercury exposure problem. In Safe Removal of Amalgam Fillings, we present scientifically verified procedures for minimizing mercury exposure. These are procedures that all dental office personnel should learn and follow for their own protection and for the protection of their patients. Even if all the dentists in the world were to stop placing amalgam fillings today, the need to drill out and remove old fillings would remain with us for generations. While some of the mercury fillings that exist in people's mouths today will go to the grave with them, a high percentage will need to be replaced for maintenance purposes. Some, we expect, will be removed electively as people seek to eliminate that source of mercury exposure for themselves. Everyone involved, including dental patients, dentists, and dental staff, need to be aware of the many hazards in removing old mercury fillings, as well as the hazards and responsibilities of dealing with the waste. This next video introduces the key problems we encounter when considering the hazards of removing old amalgam fillings.